Hey CFS Warriors, it's Victoria coming to you from Lake Tahoe. It is a gorgeous ski day today as you can see. And I just want to talk to you about how to use visualization in your recovery. And you know, this has been a really powerful tool for me throughout recovery. Just uh, those days when I couldn't get out of bed and when, you know, months and months went by and, and my body was uh, not functioning. Um, it really helped to, to just paint pictures in my mind of uh, the life that I wanted and the things that I dreamed of doing. And sometimes it's really hard. It's like you can't even see yourself doing those activities because your body's so incapacitated and debilitated that it's, it's like I had almost lost the picture that I could do those things again. So it was really hard for me to picture myself doing things. There's a, a verse that says, without a vision, the people perish. And if we don't set something before us um, in our mind's eye to move towards, our bodies don't know which direction to go in. And then your body's just left with the daily reality of what's going on in the illness. And so I just would encourage you to start visualizing, even if it's just a few minutes a day, and actually brief sessions are actually better than you know doing really long sessions. I did this when I was bed bound, is I would watch videos of people skiing and people windsurfing and traveling and doing things that I long to do, that I, of course I wondered if I would ever do again, but I would, I would watch those things and allow them to birth hope in me. And also to kind of let my body know, this is the direction we're going in. You know, even when I could just do a three minute walk in a day, and then the rest of the day I was crashed out, um, that was giving my body instructions. Uh, and I think that mind-body connection is so very powerful. Science is just exploring that and touching just the very, you know, tip of the iceberg on that. So, um, and as you've seen in another video, I talked about how Olympic champions use the tool of visualization and brain rehearsal. So um, it's exciting for me because this is what I had visualized when I was lying in bed and um, longed to get out, but, but it's taken a long time to get here. You know, I remember in the movie, The Secret, there was a guy that was just, his body was shattered through a, some kind of accident and they told him he'd never walk again. They thought he was gonna die, but anyway, he, and he couldn't even speak, but in his mind, he thought, no, I'm gonna walk out of this hospital. And, uh, he, and so what he began to do was in his mind, he began to see his body healed and restored. And, you know, again, uh, I just think it's such a critical piece to the recovery path. And, it, you know, everything else is important, T taking care of your body, listening to your body's needs, um, you know, supporting yourself in every way that you can. But this is just another tool to use. So I just want to encourage you because, I mean, this is amazing for me to be out here on these slopes. And, uh, and I believe it's because that dream was birthed in me and that vision was, was uh, set out before me back in the dark days. So keep a hold of your dreams. Keep dreaming, keep visualizing, and you are gonna make it. Take care, warriors, and remember, life's not over, it's starting again.